It's been a banner year at the AAIC meeting for 2021. Pandemics haven't stopped these intrepid Alzheimer's researchers from pursuing their questions and sharing their exciting results. Quanterix was excited to be in on the action at the meeting, and we're coming at you to highlight just a few of our favorite findings from the meeting. So without further ado, here are Quanterix's top five AAIC abstracts of 2021. The first study on the countdown hails from Johns Hopkins, highlighting a snappy biomarker superstar, SNAP25. It's implicated in everything from neurite outgrowth to vesicle release to neuronal survival. The authors used a SIMOA assay to measure SNAP25 levels in CSF from patients defined as cognitively normal, cognitively impaired, or dementia, and compared SNAP25 to other CSF-based Alzheimer's biomarkers. In this work, SNAP25 was significantly higher in both cognitively impaired and dementia patients. Levels peaked in the cognitively impaired patients over dementia patients, though, suggesting that most presynaptic degradation likely happens before the onset of dementia. What's especially cool, though, is that SNAP25 levels correlate strongly with phosphotau-181 and total tau in CSF. Possible links to tau-tangle pathology? Watch this space! Next on the list, a harmonization effort from the Alzheimer's Association Global Biomarker Standardization Consortium and their Blood Biomarker Working Group. They tackled the big question of how to reduce pre-analytical variability in blood samples used for Alzheimer's biomarker detection. Some surprising findings here, the biggest one being that most markers are not affected by delayed storage at minus 80 or by centrifugation. Turns out, though, for A beta 4240 and total tau measurements, storage does matter. The group saw degradation of the markers within 24 hours when samples were refrigerated, and within three hours when stored at room temperature. The solution? Freeze your samples, folks. Even just freezing at minus 20 degrees Celsius ensured marker stability up to two weeks. With number three on the list, we start to turn an eye towards the clinic via Lund University with a strategy for differentiating Alzheimer's from non-Alzheimer's dementia and predicting reduction in tau by PET scan using different assays for phosphotau. They analyzed a cohort from the BioFinder 2 study of, co of cognitively normal patients versus those with mild cognitive impairment. The team compared PTAU217 and 181 from Eli Lilly, PTAU231 from ADX, and PTAU181 from Alexis and InnoTest. Who gets the crown for best area under the curve? Well, turns out measuring CSF PTAU217 with Lily's antibody was best able to differentiate Alzheimer's from non-Alzheimer's cognitive impairment and track disease progression, suggesting that it could be used to both identify patients for trial enrollment and track their progress and response to therapy. Maybe that large epitope has something to do with it. For our penultimate selection, we turn to a study from University of Kentucky where the team sought to identify a consistent, reliable biomarker for Alzheimer's disease in plasma. The study utilized samples from the Alzheimer's Disease Research Center in the UK for samples and, using SAMOA, measured A-beta 42, 40, total tau, and P-tau 181 across six serially collected samples per patient. 80% of patients in the cohort even had aligned PET scan data for each blood draw. Come to find out, most people have lots of fluctuation in total tau and A beta 4240 levels over time. The levels varied significantly in the study. Interestingly though, one marker didn't fluctuate all that much, phosphotau 181. P tau 181 was not only consistent over time, it also correlated significantly with amyloid PET scan results. What a hero! This might be the biomarker we've been waiting for. And finally, our top highlight from AAIC 2021 results from Eli Lilly's Trailblazer Phase 2 study featuring response to donanumab measured by a minimally invasive, highly sensitive assay to detect Alzheimer's disease from plasma samples. This assay is all our favorite Alzheimer's biomarker work rolled into one lean, mean Samoa biomarker machine. It's specific, highly sensitive, non-invasive, and cost-efficient. In their work, the team at Lilly demonstrated that plasma P-tau predicted tau levels by PET scan with an AUC of 0.93. That's on a scale of 0 to 1 for those keeping score at home. 
From a sample stewardship perspective, you don't need much volume of plasma for detection either. The assay allowed the Lilly, the Lilly team to determine that not only were they seeing reductions of amyloid in the patient's PET scans, but also treatment with donatumab reduced plasma p 217 levels by 24%, compared with a 6% increase in plasma p 217 levels in the placebo group. We're so excited that Quanterix and Samoa can be a part of this light at the end of the tunnel for Alzheimer's patients and their families. We're thrilled to support research efforts and bring the science of precision health to bear on this scourge of an illness. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to drop us a line if you'd like to collaborate at info at